Today, we're gonna navigate, yeah. Today, we're gonna navigate through the world of copper pipes. Now, tip one, before getting started, you may wanna check your pipe for round. Grab a fitting and see how round your pipe is. You can use an adjustable wrench to re-round your piping. So let me show you that. If you pull out a piece of pipe, number one, always look at both ends because you may not look at one end. You may cut this in and say, this is right where I want it. Look at both ends. Now this end here is round, but if you look at this one, it's out a little bit. Now, something that you can do is take an adjustable wrench like this and take it down to the end that's good and put it in and kind of snug it up where you can put it in and turn it and you feel it drag all the way around. Then take it to your other end, put it on the skinny side and see how you can feel it moving around. You wanna take this and you wanna turn it because what you're trying to do is you're trying to put your copper back into the round shape that it should be in. And just by going back and forth a little bit, you may need to tighten it up. You wanna get it in there to where now it's getting tight in that spot, but it starts getting, starts getting looser as it keeps going around. So we're probably close enough now. It looks round, but let's grab a fitting and make sure it goes in. So now we know that's good. Now, always clean your pipes before soldering. It's crucial to remove any oxidation or impurities that could interfere with your solder. Use a pipe cleaner or a fitting brush to ensure it's a clean surface, and don't forget to ring the pipe to prevent turbulence for the water passing through. Now, when you go to clean your pipe, get your sand cloth, get your abrasive cloth, but also, Make sure you've got your safety equipment on. It's very easy to clean it and clean it the right way. You wanna get that good, shiny, clean look to it before you solder. That way it does not mess up your joint. Now, once you get it done, once it's cut and ready to go, you wanna make sure you ream it. You don't want anything interfering in the water flow. It'll take your laminar smooth water flow to a turbulent water flow, and that will cause problems. Now, if I'm gonna solder both ends, I wanna go ahead and clean both ends. But, a little modern technology, now instead of using abrasive cloth, they've got these brushes that are great. Lots of different ways to use them. And as you see, it gets it really clean. Again, you can ream it. Or, more new tools. This is gonna make sure you don't have any problems in the future. Now, I will only be soldering one end, I get it, but I'm a good apprentice. Clean both ends before you give it to the plumber. You've been a good apprentice, Obi-Wan. I really like these. If you're running a lot of water or you're a repair plumber, you know you're gonna be working on half inch and three quarter inch most of the time. Great tool to have. Now, when it comes to flux, tip number three, use your flux wisely. Flux is your friend when it comes to soldering copper. It helps the solder flow evenly and bond with the copper. But remember, just a little bit goes a long way. Now, one thing to remember, say you've got it in and you wanna square it up. See how that falls? What you can do is take your adjustable pliers and squeeze it just a little bit. Now remember, we worked really hard earlier to get the piece round. Now you're just trying to put enough of a squeeze on it that when you turn it, see it, it doesn't fall anymore. So now what you can do is level it up and you know it's gonna be perfect. Now, right before I solder, I like to go in and wipe the any excess flux off. Remember, flux is your friend, but too much of a good thing isn't good. When you're heating your pipe for soldering, Patience is key. Aim your torch flame on the joint and heat it evenly. Remember, it's the pipe that should melt the solder, not the flame. Now, one thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off my latex gloves and put on jersey gloves. 
The reason being, I may wanna wipe my solder joint. Now, in 43 years of plumbing, I gotta tell you, these are the best gloves for soldering. They're great. Now, when you apply your heat, remember heat rises, so I'm gonna apply the heat on the bottom. Now, sometimes I may heat up the pipe a little bit, but I want to always apply my heat to the fitting when I'm soldering. So think about that as you're getting ready to make your solder joint. Isn't that little flame cute? That's adorable. And since heat rises, I always solder the bottom joint first, knowing the heat is gonna come up. Apply my heat. And you can check your pipe to see if it's ready yet. If not, give it a little more heat. Now, capillary action is what draws the solder in. It, it's not just gravity, it's, you know, the liquid is drawn towards the heat. Now you wanna let this cool naturally. Quenching hot copper with water may lead to stress fractures or weaken joints over time. If you apply cold water to this, even if you start on the pipe and move up, you can cause an expansion and contraction to happen that may cause this fresh solder joint to actually get micro fractures in it that are gonna cause problems later. Now, if you're hanging this, tip number six, consider using pipe straps to secure copper pipes. They can reduce movement and prevent damage, but be careful not to over tighten them as this could deform the pipe. So after your joint's cool, there's nothing wrong with coming back and wiping it down. That way, in case you didn't get all the flux earlier, you can get it now. Now you saw I did wipe the bottom of this just to get any little beads, anything like that off of it. I do like to wipe my joint down just to make sure it's clean, solder went all the way around and everything like that. So wiping it down, tip number seven, wipe it down. Take pride in your work, make it look good. And finally, tip number eight. Always have a fire extinguisher nearby when soldering. Safety should always be your top priority. If you like this video, you may like this one. If you like this video, you may like this one.